What is up everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is going to be a relatively short video. We're going to go ahead and take out both of the seats in the front. We've already got the rear seats out. And this is all in preparation of the half cage that's going to go into the car, as well as the seat that's going to go into the car, and then the harness. All of that needs to actually be done in a week, so you'll probably see these videos over the next month or so, because I'm filming them and getting them out every week. Uh, but all of this has to be done within a week, so hopefully we can get it all done in that short amount of time because there is a lot of prep work still to go. So getting right into it, I'm going to go ahead and take the passenger seat out first. There is just two of these bolts up front and they're just, they're nuts actually I do believe. And they're both just 16 millimeter and they're under these little plastic covers. Yep, just a nut, not a bolt. Okay, with both of those bolts out of the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and there's two more bolts on this thing. Well, those are nuts. I think these ones are actually bolts though. Right there on the rail. And now with the seat all the way forward, I can remove both of these little 16 millimeter bolts on both sides as well. Yeah, the seat moved kind of more or less back to the middle now with those bolts out. And that's more or less just so it's easier to get it out at center. Um, but I do believe the easiest way now, because there's still plugs in this one, if you have the non-electric seats, you're in luck. I don't have the non-electric seats. Boom. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. So that's unplugged. Super easy. It's a giant yellow plug. It's kind of hard to show you, but it's a giant yellow plug at the far end. So here, here it is. It was sitting in the seat like with this end to the outside of the car, so the wires to the outside of the car, and there was like, at the top, there was this thing I had to grab and I had to pull that out. Maybe I'll be able to show you better on the driver's side, but you just pull that and the whole the whole clip comes out. All right, passenger seat's out. Now I have all of this free space here, thankfully. Uh, as you can see, I've gotten lots of things like rocks and dirt, and I pulled out some rubber. There's even some rubber up there. It gets kicked into the car, which is just unfortunate aspect of racing the whole dang thing. But as you can see, this connector, it's yellow. Yellow connectors typically mean airbags. And if I'm not mistaken, these seats have airbags in them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in that seat. I'm going to turn on the car. I'm going to back out the car. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm going to back it back in so that I can have the driver's side over on this side of the garage where I have more room to work. Now, I'm gutting this car and making it a race car. I'm going to put in a racing seat. I'm not putting these seats back in there. I'm not plugging those connectors back in. But when you turn on almost any European car, and I'm pretty sure this car is no exception, you're going to trigger the airbag light if you have an airbag system unplugged when the car is turned on. So. If you're doing this in any other capacity where you're going to plug that back in and you don't want to trigger the airbag light, do not turn on the car. Do not even put the key in the ignition unless all airbags are connected. So if you're putting in new seats, this would be the time to put in the new seat that uses that connector so that, that system does not trigger. I just wanted to show it did indeed trigger my airbag warning light, that one right there. And the only way to get that off is with the special tool, which I do have. But even if I reset that, it will just trigger again because the seat's still unplugged. I do, I have heard that there are ways to turn this off altogether with the seats disconnected, but I don't know how to do it myself, so I'll have to look into that. But don't worry, this doesn't necessarily mean that your airbags are going to blow up on you. It just means that they're disabled right now, but I've also been told that they actually still work. So I don't fully know. Typically though, when that light's on in a car like this, if you get in an accident, your airbags will not deploy. So. You don't necessarily want to be driving around with that unless, of course, it's a race car like this. All right, backed in. Let's go ahead and get rid of that seat. As promised, we're gonna see if this gives you a good enough view of the plug I was talking about. 
So, yep, it's this plug right here. Just pull out on that, and the whole thing slides out. Super simple. Well, there we have it. Both of the seats removed from the car, and now we have room to finally get the other stuff out and prepare to get an actual racing seat into the car. Now, one thing I would have loved to have done in this video with the seats is take out the seat belts, but it does look like half of the seat belt is behind the carpet, so I'm gonna have to do that in the video where I take out the carpet, which is gonna be a large job. I wanna take out both halves of the carpet when I do that, which does mean removing the center console there as well as the trim pieces and some other things. So hopefully we'll get that out in the next video. But yeah, I was just I wanted to get that done today. I just there's just no way without taking out the carpet as well. Now I'll throw the weight of the seats up on the screen now. One thing to keep in mind is that although those weigh a lot and they're both out of the car, there is stuff going back in the car that's going to offset the overall weight loss. So I'm not taking that for its face value. Plus I'm gonna get the car reweighed at the track when I have my next race coming up. And that should just about cover everything. As promised, I'm just going to keep this video brief and short just because there wasn't a lot of work to be done in it. Stay tuned for future updates as we put in the new seats, the cage, and we take out the carpet and everything. And there's more work to get done to the car. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.